What's going on guys? My name is James Collector and if you'll find me for the first time, I am both a Nerdy Collector and an eBay reseller. We have a root box to unbox. Now, the issue with this root box, um, it kind of come like that. And I looked at the, the front of it and it obviously says root box next to my address. And it feels quite heavy, so I'm hoping I haven't lost anything. Now this box is on the expensive side. It's a, approximately £20 for the box. And it's about six pounds for the delivery because it comes from, I believe it's France. Uh, no, it comes from Belgium. So yeah, it's got a fair old way to travel. Now, I do like a wee box because their value for money, generally speaking, is quite there. They have some actually decent exclusive products that come through. They're essentially what you, uh, Loot Crate used to be like four years ago. So first up we have, it's, Evo Land Legendary Edition. So does that mean it's in it's legendary? Is that legendary the name of the box? I've got no idea. Because it's not in English. <laughs> so okay, we'll just um take the first thing up and it is Root Box. So this is timeless. And there is obviously a rather large hint to Back to the Future. I presume it's got the spoiler card inside. So we're not going to look at that. Because trying to not look in a box is really hard. Okay, we've got an Assassin's Creed jumper, size medium, 2020, Ubisoft official. Now, normally you would say t-shirts are worth about a tenner. However, it normally depends on the quality of the t-shirt itself. And, oh, that does feel nice. Oh, that's nice and soft. What does it look like? And it looks something a little like that. I quite like that, and I, I would imagine that is worth probably a little bit more than the tenner. Um, although, maybe Assassin's Creed died down a little bit. I've not played Assassin's Creed since, I don't know, probably about six years ago. So, I should really start playing it, because it's a game that I did enjoy. But yeah, Assassin's Creed t-shirt, it's got to be at least 12 to £15 pounds in value, really. Okay, next item is going to be, I don't know what that was, suspense making for myself okay this is quite a lot it's gonna be a q fig because they do like their q figs in this box Ooh, and it's an x-men cyclops oh i quite like that as you can see on the image on the back you've got like the um his beam coming out of it i would imagine 10 15 pounds or so it's not exclusive at least it's not as far as i'm aware it's exclusive but again quite a nice figure so th those two items, it's the value of the box already. And there's another large item. This is going to be a glass, I think. It's too big for a cup. Could be a travel mug. And it's a 007 glass. So not suitable for dishwasher or microwave use. Clean before first use. Uh, do not apply harsh abrasive or prolonged soaking when cleaning to preserve the decorative design on this product. And it is by Paladone. Okay. Uh... Well, because it's by Paladone, I'm going to have a look at the product to see what it's actually like quality-wise. Because um, oh, I quite like that. It's got a nice matte finish. However, there is a small nick in the glass. If I, there we go. If I do it this way, you can see there's some damage there. Which, to, unfortunately, um, that is not a surprise which is a shame, but that is really nice. That's a nice matte black finish to a product, which there needs to be more matte glasses. That's really, oh, I do like it. I do like it, it's from 2019 though. So it loses a point for there. That's what it's worth. Got to be about eight quid. So if we say 12 pound for the t-shirt, eight quid for this, that's 20, plus another 10 pound for uh, the Q fig. And that brings us to a nice, 30 quid and there's still one item left and it is all oh, this is potentially going to be a very collectible item because it is doctor who is anything else in the box no that's it oh they teased back to the future and it gave us nothing apart from the box see the box has got the flux capacitor in it that's really annoying oh man okay so what is this product going to be ah <sighs> I'm gonna, it looks like a waistcoat, potentially. Oh, I don't like the fabric. It's a life jacket. It's a buoyancy. It's, is that the thing that, is it for sleeping on? 
or is it for going in the pool with? I don't know. I or I, I would say it's probably worth about. I don't know. It's official. It's got BBC on it. BBC Doctor Who. So you'd imagine it's an official product. So it's got to be worth eight to ten pounds, maybe. So let's have a look at the cheat sheet. So we do have. So they've got their own pricing range inside the the leaflet as well. So they have the Cyclops uh, figure at eighteen euros. At the moment, the exchange rate for uh, pounds to euros is fairly similar, to be fair. So I had that at a tenner. So I've undervalued that quite a bit. The Assassin's Creed T-shirt they put is twenty euros. I personally think that's a bit over. I think maybe fifteen euros. Uh, the well, it's got Spectre on the back of it as well. No, hang on. There was two different things available. So there was this glass, which admittedly I prefer, and there's also a travel mug with the Spectre logo on it as well, which is that there. There we go, that there. And then you've got the... Ah, right. We are missing an item, which, to be fair, I do vaguely remember an email coming through that we were supposed to be getting a, an exclusive pin badge, and it did say out of time on it so that would have been the back to the future item and i it says voyage doctor who so i'd imagine it is it's for holidays where you, you do sleep with it around your neck and there was obviously a mega crate which is again is something that i think loot crate used to do a long time ago so it looks to be like some sort of a vr headset and uh, there's also a very nice looking DeLorean uh, there is some sort of a pop culture anthology device a really nice Doctor Strange figure which I would imagine that's probably worth a couple hundred pounds and oh my god is that I can't quite tell on that picture that big thing in the middle is that a Lich King or a Witch King is that is that World of Warcraft is that Lord of the Rings I've got absolutely no idea um, I should probably be able to some sort of read it so there's uh, oh, Dark Souls 3. So I was wrong. I oh, don't say it's in bloody English. If I was, it? It's in English. So if I'd have scrolled to the back, I would have understood and known exactly what it was worth. So, but again, the prices, they've got exactly the same. They've got €8, Euros, sorry, for the Doctor Who item. €4 uh, Euros for the pin, which it probably is. It's going to be highly collectible, I would have thought. Uh, glasses, yeah, 10 I think that's fair. I think the Q fig and the the T-shirt they've probably overpriced slightly, but yeah, decent box. One of my my favourites. Uh, I think it's a close. Is it a close second? Two is they're all good for different reasons. Uh, you've got the the threads box, which is it's cheap and it doubles the 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 contents of the box is always going to be double what you pay for it. You've got this one, which is a nice mixture of just general pop culture. And you've got the Lutaku box, which is uh, an anime-based pop culture box, uh, which is quite heavily influenced by statues and, and things like that. So I think those are the three boxes we're going to carry on doing on this channel. Obviously, if you've got any suggestions, then please do let me know. There will be a link down in the description for this particular box. I think your first order, you will get €10 Euros off as well. So, uh, yeah. Give it a go. Uh, they do tend to do themes and they'll let you know what themes are, are coming up as well. So it's worth keeping the website bookmarked. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.